What new and upcoming attractions and experiences are coming to New York City in 2024? Well, it turns out a lot, and some of this stuff is absolutely wild, like this one. I'm so excited for that. In today's video, I'm going to cover different categories of new crazy things that you can expect when you come to New York City this year. Let's get to it. Plus Pool is finally opening this year thanks to receiving 16 million in funding. This will be a floating free public pool in the East River that has a filtration system allowing clean water to get through it. I cannot wait for the first version to open this summer. This is easily one of the most unique things this city will ever see. Let me know in the comments, would you swim in this? There are some updates happening to Top of the Rock this year. Last year, they opened the Beam, which is a really cool experience. It's essentially a recreation of the iconic lunch atop a skyscraper photo. You get strapped in, they put you up, and they spin you around to look at Central park and you get your photo taken exactly like that iconic photo moment. It was very cool and a little scary if you're afraid of heights. This year they will be opening a 70th floor beacon that will be on top of the 69th floor. Normally the 69th floor is the highest point of top of the rock and it's also open air. So they're going to be adding this extension so you can see the city even better with no obstructions at all. It looks pretty cool and I can't wait to try it out once they open it. There are 21 new Broadway shows opening this year and a few of them I'm actually pretty excited about. The Wiz is opening, that's a great show. Cabaret, known for its amazing dancing. And they're doing a Broadway version of The Notebook. Remember that classic movie? I feel like this will be a good date night show. We'll see though. There's like 18 other shows opening too. I'll list them right here on screen. But I recommend going to playbill.com because that has the most up-to-date information about all the openings of the shows. There's a lot of shows that are still being worked on that they haven't announced the date, including 13 going on 30. No one does fine dining like a Michelin starred restaurant. And so far there are 71 in New York City. But this year we are going to add six more to that to bring it to 77 making New York City the city that has the fifth most Michelin star restaurants in the world. Which number one? So number one is Tokyo. Japan is like killing it. They have like 300, it's nuts. With that said, we got some really cool restaurants opening this year that are Michelin starred and there are six of them. Here's all the info about it. In January, Kokodak is opening an American restaurant with Korean influence. That month will also open San Sabino with an Italian American theme focusing on seafood. And in February, Armando Grill will open on the Lower East Side with a seafood flair. Early spring, we'll see a Japanese restaurant open called Yamada and a raw bar called Penny. And finally, Copo Sono will open at the end of the year serving French Japanese. There are four specialty weeks that are happening happening this year that you need to look out for because this will save you a lot of money. Let's start with Broadway week. This is when you can get two for one Broadway tickets and this runs January 16th to February 4th. This is when you can see some of the best shows on Broadway for really good prices. Next up is New York City restaurant week. This is the same day, it's January 16th to the 4th of February. So it seems like that's a really good time to come to the city in general. And restaurant week is when you're gonna get great deals on some of the best restaurants in New York. They normally do like pre fee menus where you get like three courses for a set price. They do lunch and dinner and it's really amazing. Like this is my favorite time to try new restaurants that I've been wanting to try but maybe didn't want to spend a fortune on. New York City Hotel Week. This is actually relatively new. They started this one in 2021. This is from January 3rd to February 4th and the reason is that time is because that is when it is the least populated time to visit New York City so the hotels want to encourage people to come here while offering great discounts like 24% off or more. All of the information on which hotels are participating are on the website on the screen. So you can check that out there. And finally, you have New York Must See Week. And this is when you can get two for one tickets to all different types of attractions in the city. This could be observation decks, museums, all types of things like that. It's just a great time to come to the city overall. And this year, just having four of these weeks overlap, it's like a jackpot if you want to visit New York for cheap. Important thing to note though, January is absolutely freezing here. This year, New York's Tenement Museum will feature its first ever black family home. If you haven't been to the Tenement Museum, essentially it shows you how New Yorkers lived back in the 1800s. And let me tell you what, it is rough. 
Here's a little bit about the exhibit that's opening. It showcases a couple that is living in 1869, what their home was like. And this is really special because before this, we actually had no black family homes represented at all. So this is pretty cool. It showcases a home from post-Civil War era because of course, black people could not own land before the Civil War when slavery was emancipated. It will be opening early this year and uh, you should get tickets to it because you'll learn a lot about the history. One of the things I love about the Tenement Museum though, Besides the history, of course, that's the highlight. They have a great gift shop. They just have a lot of really good books and souvenirs, all different types of things. A 530,000 square foot space will be opening in the Bronx this year. It's called Bronx Point, and you'll find a bunch of really interesting things here, including the first ever hip hop museum. That's right. Hip hop was created here in New York about 50 years ago. So they're doing all these different initiatives around that. It is the 50 year anniversary which is very exciting. And Bronx Point will have all types of things celebrating that from new retail to dining, uh, restaurants, uh, markets, and much more. The first LGBTQ plus museum will be opening in New York City this year. Very exciting stuff. It will be a visitor center within the Stonewall Inn National Monument Park. That's right here. This is essentially where the gay civil rights movement happened in 1969. It was illegal to be gay before 1969. Can you believe that? Finally, they put their foot down and said, no more, we want equal rights. And that happened right here at the Stonewall Inn. There's a lot of history about that. I'm not gonna get into it, but you can actually come here this year and visit their visitor center where there's going to be all types of exhibits. Eventually, they will be opening the first American LGBTQ plus museum on the Upper West Side. That will open 2025, but right now you can actually visit the visitor center. It will be in a storefront, probably the one right here is my guess. New York City will have three new waterside parks added in 2024. One of them I'm standing on right now. This actually recently opened right at the end of 2023. It's called Gansvert Peninsula and it is 1,200 pounds of white sand. So it's kind of one of Manhattan's first beaches. They have beach chairs, lounging areas, playgrounds. It's really cool and the sand is like, it's like, it's literally like the softest, whitest sand. It's really nice. If you know where Chelsea Market is, it's right around the corner from Chelsea Market. So you could technically like grab some food from Chelsea Market and then come here and have a picnic, which would be awesome. The other park that's opening is the East Midtown Waterfront Greenway. And this will be part of the initial goal, which is connecting a 32 and a half mile loop around the island of Manhattan that you can take bikes on or walk along. That's uh, all the way at the top of Manhattan along the Hudson River. And this one is currently under construction, but the goal is to finish it in 2024. And it will be another beautiful pier with playgrounds, lounging areas, gardens. There's also going to be a historic boating vessel that is docked alongside of it. Maybe they'll make it into another bar. I know we got some cool boat bars that are docked at piers. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is going to have a brand new exhibit starting February, 2024. It is called the Harlem Renaissance and Transatlantic Modernism. And it features 160 different types of art from black artists during the 1920s and 1940s. The exhibition will feature paintings, sculpture, photography, and film, exploring the comprehensive and far-reaching ways black artists showcased everyday modern life in new black cities throughout the 1920s and 1940s in Harlem and nationwide. And most of these pieces are donated by historically black colleges. It's unlike anything that's been seen in the Met before. I can't wait to see it. That is not all you need to know though. Next, check out our winter guide right here that talks all about the best things to do during that season. I hope to see you soon.